you as an example of a plan today. <coughs> but you have to have a, a, a disciplined trading plan. You have to have rules. You have to have, uh, just like the gym, you can't go to the gym and work out and then go home and eat all the stuff that, you know, uh, Mr. Noel was talking about. Uh, so check this out. So one of the first things when it comes down to, to, to the, the psychology that you guys really have to understand is you have to be okay with losing, right? You gotta realize this, that um, you could lose two trades out of 10, but if you're winning the eight, you're still gonna be profitable, That's right? right? That's right. When it comes down to your trading, what I'm gonna be teaching you guys over the next day too is how to get very precise entry. So when you win a trade, you're, let, let's say, I'm gonna give you guys examples of risk reward. When you win a trade, you're trading at a one to eight, right? One to eight means Whatever you're risking, you're gonna make eight times that much money, right? Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. And I'll show you guys an example of this as we're going. But when we're trading at these high risk to reward ratios, you could be wrong 66% of the time, and you'll still always be in profit because of the ratios, right? I'll give you an example. Um, the first month on Steady, we lost three trades. Those three trades were 20 pips each, right? We won 14 trades. Those 14 trades were a minimum of 130 pips each, wow. right? Wow. So what I want you guys to understand is you could lose and be fine with it, but if you're following your rules, you're always gonna be able to make money, right? On your charts, you guys seen crazy charts, right? Yeah. You have 30 indicators, you get what we call paralysis analysis. One thing's telling you to sell, one thing's telling you to buy, it doesn't work out, right? Because you might have a great trade, but if you let all these things clutter your charts, it's you're not gonna have a good time, right? Um, another big thing, over trading. Uh, you know, most traders will never become successful or make profits in the long term because they're trading too much, right? Um, when it comes down to over trading, you should have set rules and guidelines of how much money you want to make or how many pips you want to catch or whatever. I'm going to show you guys an example of mine. And when you first come into trading, you want to make money fast, right? You're greedy, you're emotional, you, you want to just make money now, 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 right? You're like a crackhead, you're fiending for trading. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny you guys are laughing. It's funny you guys are laughing, but it's relatable, right? Like, think about this. Um, you know, you, you hop out of a trade, you just make $2, right? $20, $200, whatever you made. And then you're right back into the market for more, right? That's the, the, the wrong type of mindset, right? Professional traders, the best position you could be in when it comes down to trading is no position, right? Because trading is all about protecting your capital. When you're in trades, you're not protecting your capital, right? It's all about slow, steady, consistent growth. A lot of us are in that get rich quick type of mindset. And the reason why is because we're, we're looking for those quick trades, right? So a lot of us have, have scalped, right? Who, who's, who's been scalping? <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna tell you is that no professional trade, no long-term successful trader is gonna be scalping. Because what happens is you're gonna go on a little, a little run, right? You're going on a little run, yo, I just made $500 scalping, you know, I took 50 trades, blah, blah, blah. And then that, that 51st trade is what's gonna take you out, right? Who, who's, has that happened to any of you guys? Right? So and it hurts to talk about it, but you guys ought to be able to talk about it because this is how trading works. You know, at, at a certain point, if you don't uh, master your discipline and have set guidelines and rules like I'm gonna be teaching you guys, trading can be a very dark, mental, emotional place, right? Because you're losing money, and then you get greedy, and you get the I gotta make my money back mindset, right? Revenge trading, and uh, yeah, and then gambling, right? So what you guys gotta realize is that gambling is just luck, right? What we're doing is we're doing calculated risk when it comes down to trading. You should know every trade you take, uh, how much you're risking and how much you're gonna gain. Every trade I take, I know exactly how much I'm, I'm gonna lose or how much I'm gonna win, right? A lot of you, when you comes down to scalping, there's no, there's no risk. You know, you're entering a trade, you're hoping for a couple pips, there's no stop loss, which is, you know, the worst possible thing, and then, you know, your account just blows up, right? Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching the charts, but you know, uh, they have the elections in uh, London, right? The GBP pairs all spike to the moon. A lot of people were selling those pairs, and what do you think happens when you're selling something, you have no stop loss and it goes to the moon? You're gonna lose the majority of your money, right? So when it comes down to what I want you guys to understand is that uh, you don't wanna have too much clutter, right? I know uh, Mr. Noel talked about clutter earlier. Some of you guys said your houses are cluttered, whatever it is, right? You don't want your charts to be cluttered, right? Like looking at this, there's nothing on it. The way we trade is we trade with nothing on it. Too many indicators is too many distractions. Um, I'll tell you this, indicators don't work, right? They tell, how many times have you guys looked at the RSI or something and it says it's overbought or oversold and you sell it or buy it and it just keeps on going the other way, yeah. right? Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's all BS because what, what I want you guys to realize about the trading industry is, uh, is this. You guys know the cash flow quadrant, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check this out, so this is a cash flow quadrant. You got the employees, you got the self-employed people, you got the business owners, you got the investors, right? Yeah. 
Um, so you know that 95% of the people, the population, they live over here and they have 5% of the money, right? So uh, on this side, you know that 5% of the world's population is over here, they make 95% of all the money, right? The trading world works the same way. You guys, we are considered retail traders, right? Retail traders. And then you have the other guys who are like the banks and the institution and stuff like that, right? So what you guys have to realize is that in this world, we're this huge category and we control barely any of the money in the market, right? It's $6.6 .6 trillion a day of money being moved around. You guys don't necessarily control any of that, neither do I, right? But the banks, they have 5% of the population, they have all the money in rotation. So what you gotta realize is that the, the basic forex education that's out there, it's a complete scam, right? And I'm gonna explain why. The basic education is put out by the banks, right? And what you gotta realize is that it's a game for them. Their goal is to make money to take your money, right? So what you gotta realize is that you have to learn how the 5% are trading, right? Because online, all these courses, they teach you how the 95% of the people trade, right? 95% of people that trade Forex never make any money. And they don't make any money because they're not taught the proper way of trading, right? So when you stop trading the way everybody else is trading, and you become coachable, right? You get to become this top 5%, right? And make top 5% money. And I'm gonna show you guys some here in a little bit.